What's going on guys? I'm out here in Little Elm. We are entering into Union Park. Come across this little little curve off 380 and then it gets you right into the neighborhood. So these prices are gonna be from your 300s, uh, upwards of almost 600,000. Uh, we're right by the Lake Louisville. A really small city compared to uh, Frisco or Plano, uh, but it still has some, uh, some areas that are expanding. Uh, this uh, might have some uh, more phases going into it. They do have some builders uh, that are pretty well known uh, through these other master plan communities uh, like Del Webb, DR Horton, uh, but we'll get right into this. Pretty good location right off 380. Uh, you got retail spaces right by here. It goes to Denton ISD, the uh, Ray Braze, Braswell, Braswell High School. And then you got your middle school right here as well. And then the elementary school, uh, that, that's the Union Park uh, Elementary School. So it's right within the neighborhood. So uh, really, really close schools. Don't have to worry about, uh oh, roundabout. Here we go. Uh, the one thing about this neighborhood though, is that it has one ways. So I've been out here a couple times and I'll see, uh, I'll see people going down the wrong direction, not really realizing it. Um, on my left side right here is what they call the porch. Uh, they got a couple little parks throughout this community. This this side has the porch and the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen has like probably like places to barbecue. Uh, it's got like a little outdoor area if you want to enjoy that. Highland Homes, Coventry Homes, also on this right side. I just passed by them uh, that are also within here. That and then on the other side of the uh, the porch is like a bigger uh, just huge field. I'll wrap around that side in a little bit, um, but let me take you through some of these. Uh, these streets in here. Oh, another roundabout. What to do? But uh, one of the, one of the cool things about this neighborhood is that they uh, do a bunch of events. There's like 300 events during the year that they do. Uh, I was reading through their website. I'll put their website down below in the description. There's a dog park on this left side. I don't know how many of those they have, but they got a dog park. What is what do they call it? Bark park. Classic called it Park Park. About 350 homes, uh, 340 homes are getting built in here. Uh, that's as that's just as much as the uh, Winsong Ranch uh, community I just toured. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. That is just down the street uh, as well over in Prosper. So if you want to have your kid go to a Prosper ISD school uh, rather than a Denton ISD school, uh, go check out Winsong Ranch. Uh, they, are, they do have some lots that are available. Let's go down this way. Yeah, this is a thousand acres less than Winsong Ranch, and it's got just as many homes, so uh, not as big on the trails. Uh, and that, I don't exactly know what their next plan is in here, but they do not have the same amount of trails as some of these other massive plan communities I've seen. Uh, though they did put more of like an emphasis on the like community gathering areas uh, in here take you by another piece uh, that's like another park that's pretty cool it's got like a swim area all right it's got like another pool and uh workout work, uh, what what workout area we gotta work it out uh, they do have a house in here uh for sale a uh, current list three bed two bath at just a little under four hundred and thirty thousand dollars uh, here's your single family Highland uh, one layout homes. Uh, if you have a smaller price range of 300,000, also Coventry. If you're about 45, 40 minutes, you get on the tollway down to Dallas, about 30 minutes, 25 minutes to Stonebriar Mall. You don't take the tollway, you just take streets. I guess they do have like a little walking area, but that's not. It's not that crazy. All right, so then this is the splash. So another little community area people can gather up. They do have some people out there right now uh, swimming, and then they do have a workout. All these builder trucks coming in. Good to see houses going up. That's what you want to see, people. And then, uh, yeah, this left side, so they got volleyball courts, they got a playground, they got a couple basketball courts. Bas the basketball courts are kind of weird. They just have like a block of pavement, and then, uh, and then, and then one hoop. They don't have like an actual court, which uh, which I guess like helps people share more. So they don't like take over a court. Uh, here's the 
Here's the elementary school. Pretty good size. And we'll hop into this other side. Enterprise truck rental from Ikea. All right, let's jump across. Yeah, so they still don't even have, most of these are one ways through here. They don't even have it built out to where it's two lane. Uh, so uh, yeah, they're probably still expanding pretty good into here. Looks like this is uh, the furthest back it goes. Average square foot on these houses, about 190 per square foot, which seems a little pricey in the terms of location, but um, they do have uh, some pretty nice stuff in this community. I'm like, I'm like trying to justify the 190 square foot price. I don't know, it feels a little high. Uh, I don't think One Song Ranch was was that much, but um, I think it's because One Song Ranch had more of those uh, smaller villas, and they don't really have that in here. There's another little park. Not a, not not like the other ones, but it's a little park. Pop back across. You got a stop sign. You have a stop sign. Stop sign. <laughs> it's a, a four-way stop, people. I think she was just looking at me like I was the problem. I don't know. That's the thing. You're coming out here. You're moving out here. Everyone drives crazy. I know I've said this in the other videos. Just be ready. If you're coming from California, it might not be that big of a deal. But yeah, these houses not, I mean, they do have some like little custom stuff in here, but um, I mean, they all kind of look the same, right? So. But, you might not care about that. Or you might. Probably while you're watching this video, you're trying to figure it out right now, you know? And here's a little pond area, um, closer towards the entrance. Uh, but uh, in terms of like grocery shopping and that stuff, uh, there's a there is a Kroger close by. Um, there is some restaurants. And a little bit further down is like some more stuff like fast food. But there is a gas station in there. There is a uh, fire station right outside the neighborhood. So there's that. So in case something goes down in your neighborhood, the uh, fire station is at the entrance of it. I like the look. Now this one right here up at this front part looks a little different than uh, a lot of these other ones, they kind of got a little balcony on the top. Got to appreciate a balcony. And the entryway is a little bit different. It kind of looks like a little, uh, little castle entry entryway. Let's go around this way. This street right here is like one of the first streets that got built in this neighborhood. I don't think it was like the very first, but as you can see, it's fully built out and they already got a house for sale on this side. So, I've seen probably about three houses for sale within here. Uh, I want to take you guys back out to that bigger park area. This street right here, a little underdeveloped. That's the thing, once you get further out into Prosper and um, Aubrey, or yeah, Aubrey and Anna, places that are further north, they have all these houses and uh, they're getting built in these neighborhoods, but the actual streets that lead into the neighborhoods uh, are not, there's still these country roads that haven't really gotten expanded out, so there's gonna be some bumps. So just be careful in your Ferrari, you know? I love this sign, roundabout ahead. Go up back around.
around this way by the dog park. I just don't want to follow that trailer. It's kind of annoying. Uh, and then they have some ponds and they have like a little fishing pier too on this other side that'll swing around. So, uh, but yeah, this is kind of your walking portion. It's just like a, a, a really big oval. It doesn't really like cut in between stuff. And then if I just go further, it takes us back to where those uh, other places are getting developed. And then this takes us back around to Central Park. And then this is also pretty close to the PGA headquarters as well. So uh, maybe you're not working at the PGA headquarters, but maybe you're into golf, uh, really close to that as well. So um, you're close to the lake, you're close to the PGA headquarters and some golfing stuff. And uh, but you're just still a little bit outside of like downtown Frisco for like the Toyota Stadium and some of those events that are uh, held around there. Little Elm does have events. The city does put on events like their 4th of July is pretty big, but uh, not as much as uh, somewhere down in Dallas or Frisco. And then yeah, here's that other side of the porch, really big field. And then on this right side is that middle school and we're coming back out. Um, but yeah, that's gonna end it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's another master plan community over in Little Elm, I or I was about to say Little Elm ISD. Um, Little Elm, Texas, Denton ISD, Little Elm, Texas. Let's go around this way. Uh, if you got any questions about this community, if you want to know anything else, send me an email, leave a comment. I'll link the builders and that stuff down below. Uh, you can check that out. And then, yeah, I just appreciate you guys watching the videos. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert Team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions uh, besides that. Bye.